Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafting Journey, that journey chick on Instagram. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I came to you this morning with Crafting and Crime Daily. I hope you enjoyed that. Today, I'm coming to you with, remember I said what's better than one? Diamond Art Club unboxing? Two? Yeah, I got two in the mail. So here is number two. Let's take a look. Took me a few days to get to this one, but it's a beauty. I was just looking at its size because the box is smaller than the other box that I got. So I'm thinking, hey, maybe I ordered a small one. No, because mm -mm, it's wide. Yeah, wider than it is long. So it's not a small one. No. I don't know when I think I'm going to finish all these large diamond paintings, but oh well, you know. So I'm taking the outer cellophane off. This, of course, like I said, it came with another Diamond Art Club, so they were both in the same large box. Come on. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> what in the world? This should not be difficult. It's because it's later on in the day, right? just wants to come off in pieces. All right, so it's a beautifully packaged box. Always is with Diamond Art Club. On the front, you'll see that it is a square painting because you've got a square symbol there. If it was a round pink symbol, it would be a round painting, which apparently I don't do rounds anymore. I seem to gravitate towards the square images. Don't know why. I don't know, but I do like a square painting. If those, if those drills fit together nicely. I am as happy as I can be. So uh, it gives you an image, size, the name of the artist. On the side of the box you can scan it and there will be a discount code. There's also a discount code inside and there's a discount code in your packaging slip that came with your in your packaging slip that came in the larger box that held these two boxes. So lots of opportunities to save a Diamond Art Club. Never pay full price. That is my motto. Don't pay full price for yarn. Don't pay full price for diamond paintings. Yeah, don't pay full price. So, also on the back of the box are the seven steps to diamond painting. Are there still seven or have we broke it down into more? Yep, six. Six steps to diamond painting. The contents of the box. Yep. Okay. And my dogs are barking. Okay, so we have the toolkit. We have the painting, which says, Do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Art Club. And inside we also have a little sticker. I like to save this sticker. You can put it on the side of the box so that you can see more clearly what's in your box if you have them stacked a certain way. If not, I like to save them and put them into my planner for when I start the painting. Yep, so. Let's move this aside. I hope you can still hear me pretty well. We don't need the scissors anymore. I don't think we're going to have trouble opening the sides here. Let's look at the toolkit real quickly. We know what's in here. Do your fingers have trouble working in cold weather? Mine do. Okay, so in this box, in the toolkit, you, here's what you're getting. Everything you need to diamond paint is in this tool kit. If you are new to diamond painting and this is your first kit, congratulations, you've, you've picked a wonderful kit, a, the Cadillac of diamond painting. However, it's a very large kit to start off learning how to diamond paint, but everything you need will be here. Okay, you've got uh, lots of these little baggies that you can use to kit down your painting at the end. That's when I would choose to use them. I would not kit up my painting by using these little baggies. But at the end, when you have leftover diamonds that they're good to put in, and you might want to label them and save diamonds in case you run out of something later on. I throw them away. Um, you got 
a funnel with um, a tray with a funnel, a nice pen, blue pen with a squishy. You get tweezers that are sharp. You get sharp ones, um, which I go through quite a few of those because the ends tend to bend over time and then you want to replace them. Ah, oh, there it is. You get the plastic thin four placer, which I really enjoy, and two pieces of heart wax. So everything you need, two diamond paint is there. And honestly, the only thing I save out of all of this is the tweezers and the four placer. The rest I don't use anymore. I've When you've been diamond painting for three years, you acquire nicer tools. But they're not necessary at the beginning. No. They're just because I'm a collector, I think. We like nice things, don't we? All right, so you don't need to put it back in that paper either. It says at the top of the painting, do what makes you sparkle. And if you look really closely, you see that beveled edge? That is to prevent fraying. And that's all around the diamond painting. It is branded, says Diamond Art Club. It's this beautiful patented tourmaline canvas, like a soft lint that we really, really love. It feels magnificent. And the beauty of this softness is that it will just lay flat within seconds. You don't have to do a thing. If you want to, you can roll it backwards, but you don't have to. Um, it will just lay flat very soon after you open it up. Yep. So we're going to get the drills out. Because there's more stuff. So you get a little booklet for reading in your spare time. In this booklet is a note from Angie, the owner. Nice little note about thanking you for your purchase. The uh, steps to diamond painting, that's right there. Here's your second coupon right there, or actually your third one if you saved the packing slip. And some tips and tricks on how to diamond paint. Yep, there you go. And then you get a sticker sheet that comes with it. So you don't have to order. Back in the day, <laughs> sound like one of those old diamond painters. Back in the day, we had to have a Zyron sticker maker um, because you had to make your own stickers out of whatever came with the diamond painting. Now they come with their own stickers and they're each little individualized stickers. You just peel it off as you're putting each one on your storage container. And then a picture of the finished image that you could put on top of your storage container. And you can put when you started it and when you ended it. And it has the size and the name of the artist. And if you haven't guessed by now, this is a Randall Spangler. My first Randall Spangler. I have never purchased a Randall Spangler. Not that I don't enjoy Randall Spangler. I think he's a wonderful artist. I just have never ordered it because I don't have children in my house. I'm a grandma. Um, and my grandchildren are too old to enjoy Randall Spangler. But I thought, I like this image. I'm going to get it. And already my sister has said, I want to do that one. Yep. And uh, here are the drills. Look at all of those colors. Lots of variety in these colors. And I will show them to you a little later. What the other thing that I do want to show you, though, is if you keep these separately, because good luck getting them back into the box uh, with your painting, is that it has the number of the kit on the label and it has the name of the kit on the label. Back in the day, they didn't put the name on there, just the number of the kit. But if you have those with that, that just have the number of the kit, you can find the number on the, on the canvas, on the lower left-hand side of the canvas. I'll show you that in a little while. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of drills. So, do you see how it's like laying flat already and we haven't done anything to it? We're gonna turn it this way, admire the background. Here's why it's <laughs> large, <laughs> because it's wider than it is high. The width is not so bad. And I'll show you how I'll go about diamond painting this. 
I've, I've had another painting that was uh, a lot like this as well. Oh, I'm sorry. It's taller than it is wide. Uh, the one that I had was wider than it was tall. But you could, the way you diamond paint, it's very similar. So I'm rolling it backwards so it will lay flat right away. Oh my God, I don't know if I'm gonna get this whole thing on camera, guys. Uh-oh. Let's hurry up. We wanna see it, Rebecca. Okay, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but on the bottom, I said I'd show you, this is where you're gonna find the kit. Another image, the kit number, the name of the artist, Randall Spangler, the size of the painting. This size is a 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters, which would be 22 inches by 43 inches. Yep, all of the social media to contact Diamond Art Club. Yep, here we go. I'm gonna roll it out. This is called So Many Books, So Little Time. So many diamond paintings, so little time. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my God, we could count the books. Now, one of the, the signatures of Randall Spangler, of course, are his dragons. The dragon here and the chocolate chip cookies. Do you see the chocolate chip cookies? There they are, right there. There's one right there. His dragons like chocolate chip cookies. And I've got some fellow creators that can tell you the whole story. There's also, do you see the cat here? There's a cat. Is that a cat or a rabbit? Oh my gosh, I can't tell. Oh, it's a cat. It's a cat peeking around the side of the book. Looks like Stitch, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, look, more books, more books. There's a big stopwatch, more books, more books. Oh my God, that's a huge stack of books. And then there's, the dragon on the top reading the book. So there is the entire painting, guys. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow, look at all the colors in it, though. So you get a schematic on the lower left and the upper right. So here is how I would diamond paint this. If you're left-handed or right-handed, I'd start on this way and work my way this way. That way your hand is never in the blue if you're working this way. And then you can just roll it up, diamonds under, as you're going this way, this way. If you're left-handed, you might wanna go this way. But it fits really nicely on your desk with the other side rolled up. So that's what I would do. I'm just going to roll it up like this to start. And then I would put this part on my desk right there and I would start it. And I would work my way that way. Probably actually do it this way. Um, I get those little clips, those little chip bag clips, and I'll clip it here, clip it here, and then let it hang off the desk, and then work on my painting. And then as I'm working the painting, you know, as I get a certain amount done, I just start rolling it up from this end. Always diamonds outwards. Yep. And then you can bring it down as you're rolling it. There you go. But look at the, he's in front of a large window, like an, one of those oval shaped windows, like he's in a castle. And then you've got all that night sky, the yellow moon, all that bling opportunity up here. How many ABs did we get here? We've got three Aurora Borealis drills. Those are acrylic drills with an iridescent coating that makes it super sparkly. So we've got green, which is in the dragon's body. We've got white, which is a 141, which is that twinkle in the night sky, the little stars of the night sky, and the twinkle in the dragon's eye. And then we've got yellow, which is, where's the yellow? <laughs> uh, no, that's not, oh, I'm sorry. Only two ABs. The yellow is not an AB, but you know what? You could make it an AB. Um, only two ABs, green and white. Okay, there are 53 colors. 
oh my goodness, I will um, have a camera, bring it down closer to you so you can see the clarity of the drill feel and so you can see how sticky this canvas is. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's look at the drills, shall we? So I had, this was on sale, 20% off all, Diamond Art Club right at the end of the year had everything 20% off and then you could use your rewards on top of it. So of course I had to, um, yeah. But it was, it came down to, Two, two Randall Spanglers that I liked. Train of Dreams, which is even larger than this, I think. It's another one that goes very narrow. And then um, I think that one goes wider than high. This one goes higher than wide. So maybe someday I'll get Train of Dreams. We'll see. Now I'm thinking this clock. I would definitely replace the gold in this clock with some gold metallic drills, special drills. And I would get those, well, I already have them, but you can get those from diamondpaintingdrills.com, which I am an affiliate. There's a link down in the description. You can order from them all through February 20th because of our special Ticket to Ride event. You could order from them and get 10% off your total purchase. But this is screaming right here in the chain and in the stopwatch for gold metallic drills. Always add your own bling, guys. Yeah, I do. So we got 53 colors. Look, guys. Oh, so many colors. Okay, I'm going to real quick sort through them. the biggest amount of drills you're getting are the grays that go within the book, the pages of the book, the different colors of grays and darker colors, um, three bags of 310. Um, and then it gets into some browns and then just a multitude of other colors, blues and reds and purples and yellows and greens, everything um, to choose from here. And then I did show you the two Aurora, Bo Aurora Borealis ones, the beautiful green and that um, 141, which is always white. This is the stars. This is in the dragon scales. So cool. Yep. And like I said, you can add anything you want. And you don't have to remember, don't you, you never have to replace DMC or DMC when you're talking about special drills. Replace it with whatever you want. Yeah. So I hope you've had a good opportunity to see the drills up close. Now let's see if we can close the bag. Maybe, maybe, there they are. Okay, I do have a special container for all of those. Um, so there's our baby guys. The drag, oh, let me turn it around so you can see it again. One more time. There's, how many books are there? I don't know. The chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I totally forgot. There's some more browns in some delicious browns in those chocolate chip cookies. There's four of them. Um, so look, there's the red, the blue, the purples, the reds, the greens. Oh, kind of reminds me of my cross stitch temp along where I'm doing the bookcase, all the different colors of the books. But I love this watch. It's a great added touch, the stopwatch and the dragons and the moon. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this moon, but something special will happen in this moon and it might just be glow in the dark. You never know. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you in my next video or in my daily show, Crafting and Crime. Take care, everybody. Bye.